So the next thing we want to do is we want to actually find our asymptotes, domain, and range of our reciprocal functions. Um, graphs of reciprocal functions, you can notice by this little pretty picture down here, has some breaks in continuity. Continuity means if you draw a graph from left to right, and there's no continuity there, there you go, and it looks something like this, it doesn't have any breaks. Well, your reciprocal function comes from the left, goes down. There is a little break right here where you have to pick up your pencil, so you draw this down here, you have to pick up your pencil, go all the way up here, and then start drawing again. That's what they're talking about, a break. So those breaks are actually called asymptotes. 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 Um, and this is where you have a line that your graph approaches. So we actually have a little bit of a dashed line that's going through here that your graph doesn't touch and we've kind of talked about this before a long time ago. Um, that would be a vertical asymptote. And then what we have going along this way would be a horizontal asymptote. These are lines that your graph approach but never actually touch. So we're gonna go through how to find each of these. So if we wanna find first your horizontal asymptote, this is the easiest one there is. Your horizontal asymptote. abbreviate here so I have a little bit of room to write. This is your horizontal line right here that your, your graph appears to be close to but never touches. Um, unless you have a shift up or down, this is always going to be at uh, y equals zero. <clears throat> and that would be your horizontal asymptote. Now your vertical asymptote, that's your line that is moving up and down like so. So your vertical asymptote then would be what your graph looks like here. So your, your vertical asymptote then, by inspection, or by looking at the uh, picture, your vertical asymptote would be at x is equal to, well, it looks like, well, I don't know, I can't tell. Oh, hey, what you could do is, can't you just use your undefined value here? Well, sure we can. Anytime you want to find a vertical asymptote, you just take your denominator, set it equal to zero, and that is the same as your undefined value we did back on example one, where you took your denominator here, and we set it equal to zero, and then simplified. That's how you find your vertical asymptotes. Now, if we want to find our domain, your domain is not too tough here. Your domain is what we did from example one, where we say this is all real numbers, except this is your x values. So think about it, your x, this graph keeps going to the left, that's negative infinity all the way over to, keep getting closer and closer to this line, which is x equals two, but doesn't touch it. And then it starts here and keeps going to the right, so we'd say all real numbers except x equals two. And then finally we have to figure out your range. So your range this would be your y value. So this graph goes all the way down to negative infinity, comes up, it's closer and closer, but never touches this asymptote, which is at y equals zero. And then it keeps going up and 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 up, like that. So if you notice your vertical asymptote and your domain, those have something in common, like the same value. And if you notice, your horizontal asymptote and your range have a little something, something in common also. So that's how we do A. So let's try B. Let's try B. So for B, we need to find your vertical asymptote. And feel free to pause this video and see if you can get it on your own. We need to find, oops, sorry, I meant to draw that. That's your horizontal asymptote. That's what's in blue horizontal asymptote, the vertical is in green, and then we're going to have to find your domain and your range. Why is this pen just not working today? Vertical asymptote. We're going to have to find your range, your domain, all of these are just a good time to have. So see if you can figure it out and then check my answer. So your horizontal asymptote would be 
Oh, well, it looks like it's going through here. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. That'd be your vertical. So I drew that wrong. Cool. So your horizontal would be right through here. Now notice this is not going through zero anymore, but according to your equation, where this is f of x, you have a number out here. This has been shifted up one. So your horizontal asymptote is actually at y equals one. This is your H A. Now your vertical asymptote, that is still the denominator of your function. So if we set X plus two equal to zero, and we subtract two to both sides, you're going to get X equals negative two. Your domain then, remember your vertical asymptote and your domain have something in common, they have the X equals negative two. So your domain are all real numbers except x equals negative two. And then finally your range that has something in common with your horizontal asymptote, that would be all real numbers except y equals one. That is how you